Not entirely sure what happened to this thing. Oh, there's the problem. So before doing anything, let's clear out the mess of crystals. And I think we fixed it. The game is not going to like what we're going to do today. Uh, didn't see this other problem we have. There's a few... Uh, that's not supposed to go... Whatever. Okay, we need to clear out this mess and then we're going to get to other things. The best part is, as we're doing this, it's raining down ever more valuables on top. But I think we got most of the mess cleared up. I could remove raw resources, but we have so many now that that would just be a waste. Okay, now things are working as they're supposed to. The mined resources are going down into my massive mountain of gold. The gems are going that way. Everyone's a happy camper. The game runs so much smoother when I'm not near my operation. That's suspicious. Since a mine doesn't really need to be babysat, I'm going to buy a fishing rod. We're going to uh, progress through some fishing today because the mine mines itself. Kind of forgot that I actually need to pay for things. And we obviously use it to catch some fish, which are worth some value all by themselves. Probably not as much as gold, but this is a herring otherwise known as the silver of the sea. It is worth $7 all by itself. And this is the start of something great. So we're going to spend just a few minutes uh, seeing exactly what we can catch. One thing I've noticed right away is there are different sized fish. I've caught two of the small ones and two bigger ones. So this is a sardine. And then these ones are the herring. The little ones were $7. These are worth $13. And they're very, very balanced. So far, it looks like these are the two kinds of fish we get here. So as soon as I find a nice place to sleep, we'll skip to a new day and find bigger, better fish. And um, I don't know why I have so many piles of money lying around everywhere, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'm simply going to buy a vehicle, leave those here where I'm definitely going to forget them, and be on my way. But not before I forget my fishing rod. It also says this is a rank 1 pole cast into any of Hydroneer's rivers, lakes, or shores. So I assume it divides those areas into different areas. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Because not only do the fish prices fluctuate, but I can actually get bigger, better fishing rods by catching the appropriate idiots. So if anybody knows where to catch a shrimp, that would be hugely helpful. So I'm assuming this is going to be like an early game thing to catch, so I'm going to try the stream where you're supposed to start. So far I've caught one boot, uh, also a mackerel, so we definitely get a different kind of fish over here. And now that I think about it though, shrimp live in the ocean. At least I think they do, but I am the guy that fails at video games for a living, so what do I know? So let's try what I think is probably the ocean. Get out there. And are you a new fish? What are you? A tuna? I'm actually surprised I can catch as many fish as I can with such a basic fishing rod. Whatever that was, was definitely a new fish. We'll uh, check that out in just a moment, after I catch a stupid shrimp, which has to happen eventually. Never mind. Okay, but this one was a cod. It pairs well with chips. It's a fish and chips joke. <laughs> Still no shrimp, but I've got other places I can try. The lazy river nearby has yielded no results yet. So I'm actually going to try the river just behind where the actual fishing place is. Maybe they want to get you started by kind of showing you that, hey, you can catch a shrimp right here. Well, at least if the game wants any of these other fish, we're already going to have them. Okay, none of those are a shrimp. I don't know how many fish we've caught already, but we've definitely caught zero shrimp. That one might be the biggest fish we've ever caught, though. It's just a sardine. Well, since I've tried rivers and oceans, let's find a lake. I just wandered up this hill kind of for fun, and I realized I can actually see my operation from here because it's that big. There is this little pond here, so I'm going to fish here for a minute. It's getting dark anyway, so I need to be close to my bed. But here we're going to catch more of those things. Kind of starting to think the shrimp aren't here either. Uh, another fine morning. I can still see dirt coming out of my operation, so that's all still going fine. Let's go find our stupid shrimp. I'm sticking to my original theory that the first fish should be caught near where it belongs. Because to be fair, I have only caught like six fish here. We'll give it a fair chance. That is also a really big whatever that is. I don't know if all fish can just come in different sizes. That's a mackerel. That's a really big ma mackerel. Uh, is that actually a fish? Puffer fish. Like a normal fish, but with more puff. Okay, so clearly there's still fish to be found. Alright, well since I need a bit of a distraction for a moment, we're going to find out what a boot is worth. Apparently zero dollars. Or two dollars. I'm just not allowed to sell it because that's for fish and jewels. So what about this big herring? This is a solid forty-five dollars. I was going to sell the puffer fish, but now I'm afraid I'm going to need to catch it at some point and I don't want to sacrifice it if I'm going to need it. I feel like I might be doing something wrong considering how many fish I've caught but not one of the ones I actually need. It's actually getting dark again so I assume I'm fishing in the wrong places. But I have caught a few fish of considerable size. I think this one is the biggest. 
and it is worth $67. That's actually pretty good for just a fish. And that, luckily, can afford us a bed on this side of the world, so we don't need to play in the dark, so you guys can actually see. I've got probably over 100 fish by now. I've only caught one puffer fish so far, so that shows that there are some rare things to catch. Found it! Great, that only took forever. Uh, okay, in you go, so give me my reward. Wonky fishing pole. It's slightly wonky, but probably a step above the previous pole. So I'm going to want to not get these mixed up, so I'm going to have to store those away somewhere. I just wanted to see what this one's going to do for me. I got so excited to catch probably the same fish as before. Okay, anyways, we're going to move the old fishing rod over here where we can keep an eye on it. Uh, speaking of which, what do we need now? A puffer fish? Is that, is that you? It looks like you. All right, well, we might be able to skip right over that rod. Oh, okay, and we need a crab. Where did we find a crab? Using the old slippy grip fishing pole. Rank 3 pole, looks like it's been dropped a few times. Okay, we're going to store the level 2 over here. Then we're going to take the level 3 probably to the ocean because crabs like the ocean. Or so I'm told. Maybe we can find a giant crab to go along with some of our giant fish. That's also a pretty big fish. That's great. Maybe better fishing rods catch you bigger fish. That would actually make sense. It's kind of like the way the gold mining works. You find bigger gold with better equipment and better ground. Another puffer fish. Tempted to see what that puffer fish is worth, but I don't want to move right now. I want to catch a crab. Oh, that had me excited. It was just a shrimp, though. Nice of uh, other things to finally start showing up. The better rod might also be a part of that now that I think about it. But I've got a good feeling about this next one because it's going to be something extraordinarily common. All right, well, since it's getting slightly dark, I'm going to take one of these big fish and see what that's worth. 56 easy dollars and then realize it's not actually getting dark. I'm just going crazy because I'm casting a line again and again. Uh, I think I just pulled up what I'm looking for. One crab, also known as the creator of the crab walk. They're absolutely not wrong. You get in the bucket and give me a new rod. What do we need? A swordfish? I assume this new rod is going to help me catch that because I have no idea where I'm going to find a swordfish. Rank 4 pull, a bit slimy. So we're going to put the level 3 rod over here in our little collection. Then try a few casts before it gets too dark. I really hope this is going to help me find a swordfish. Whatever the case, I've got time for this. Uh, our first cast, we pulled up a monkfish straight from the fish monastery. Uh, that might be a rare fish we need soon anyway, so that might be a good find. Also, I've never fished at night. The sun's just about to go down, but I'm kind of excited to try some night fishing. Okay, we're clearly not catching any different fish at night, but I did catch a rather large cod. So we're going to see what kind of value we get for that. That's worth 55. And then we're going to sleep through the rest of the night and see if we can catch ourselves a swordfish. Okay, first cast today, and I think I just got one. It's, uh... Definitely the biggest swordfish you've ever seen. But that still counts. Given that I just sacrificed them anyway, that's not a big deal, and I already have one of these. This is the emerald fishing pole, which we're not even going to get to try. That's going to go here, because this one flies here. So... I think we need to catch a shark next. Luckily, we have a real dream fishing pole. Rank 6. There's definitely still more, though. But this is two steps beyond the last fishing rod, so this will hopefully catch bigger, badder, better fish. We'll find out very soon. Give me that fish. Get in my boat. That's a really big boot, for whatever that's worth. Uh, while we're waiting, go buy some of my merch. Link in the description. That is a really big prawn. Holy crap! I want to go see what that's worth right away. I've never seen one anywhere near this big. That's the power of the new rod. 168. That's actually quite a bit for a single anything. Okay, I just got a second prawn that's two in a row, so I'm starting to think the better rods do in fact find you better stuff. Maybe the shark's like deeper water. Do I have to cast way out there? Way-ish out there? The other problem I'm having is sometimes I catch a fish and I don't really see what it is, and then it drops on the ground and becomes one of the many in the giant fish pile. Not so much that one, but if they're small, they kind of go somewhere in there, and then I don't know what it was. Oh, that had me excited. I thought that was a shark a flying fish. Oh, I thought that was just a regular fish. I'm going to put you over here because you're clearly rare. I've never seen one of those before. That makes me worried about what other treasures I've caught without really noticing. But that's fine. We'll just continue to catch more. Uh, I also just caught what appears to be a lobster. When life gives you lemons, order a lobster tail. Sure. Well, there's two more rare fish that are hopefully for two more rods. I just need the damn shark. There's a second lobster. 
And a bigger puffer fish for sure, so we're catching some things of value. We just can't find a stupid shark. Well, we did catch another flounder and a pretty big one, so let's go see what this is worth for now. This one should be pretty valuable. 373, that is really valuable actually. Because even the super rare onyx gem is only worth like a thousand, so that's worth one third of that. And the sun's going down on another busy day spent fishing. But since I do in fact have two lobsters, let's go sell what appears to be the slightly bigger one. This is the real treasure. $218. So a bigger one should be worth considerably more. We need a giant lobster. Okay, speaking of which, we just caught a giant lobster. I want to go sell this one right away. Like, look how big it is compared to the other one. I still would rather have found a shark, but I'll take $1,787. That's crazy. That's worth more than the onyx. Okay, so let's find out what a shark is worth. I did also just catch another swordfish, so I'm curious to what this is worth. It's not a very big one again, but I'm gonna sell it for profit anyway. That's only $100. It's flying days are over. They sure are $80, really? Okay, I guess the lobster is still the valuable one. I did catch another crab. It's not particularly giant, so I'm not gonna bother to sell it yet. The end of the day, and I did catch another giant lobster. It seems like the first cast every day I catch something kind of fun. There's one of the monkfish again, but that's still not a shark. Well, it's been another entire day of fishing. I've caught everything except a shark, which kind of has me wondering. Am I sure I haven't seen one of these already? It's very strange I've caught a million fish, but no shark. So let's try it again in the daylight. Maybe the problem is that this fishing spot isn't lucky enough. So I'm going to try right here at the fork in the river. So far, my new lucky spot isn't really working. I'm catching lots of fish, just not the fish I'm looking for. I think? I just pulled myself up a little itty bitty shark. Beware the bite. Uh, I'm not going to be aware of anything because I'm going to throw it in here. I'm not entirely sure what happens to it from there, but I don't care. We need a lobster. We have a lobster. The night rod fishing pole. Might be hard to find where you left it at night. Well, I don't know if I need to use that because we already have a lobster that we can throw into the thing. In fact, we have quite a few lobsters because I caught a bunch of things while looking for sharks. I do have to wonder what that was worth though. We caught like a thousand fish before finding a single shark. So this is the master fishing pole, rank 8. If you're holding this, you're probably good at fishing. I am, thank you. It even looks nice. Okay, what disaster do we have to get? A sh shrimp? But we already ha Is it asking for a big shrimp? Because I actually have one of those sitting here. Because again, it took me 10 hours to catch the shark. So I caught 45 of everything else. In the meantime, this is a rank 2 fishing pole we reset, didn't we? I'm just glad I don't have to catch a shark, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best rod, and I mean, look at it. It looks like it's the best. We caught a boot. So far, this might be the lowest paying fishing rod so far. It's fun that we unlocked this, but I just thought maybe we'd get something for it. Alright, well, what we're going to do now is see the value of what this giant lobster is worth. Because the other one was worth 1700 something like that. This one's worth 1600 The price is down a little bit, but that's definitely the single most valuable item. Okay, and everything is backed up because of that. Kind of forgot that was going to happen. And I'm not actually sure how gems and ore got all the way over here, but something must have happened at some point to send them flying. So I noticed all this dirt has been continually going into my uh, operation here, despite the fact that thing is broken. So I kind of want to see what happens when I uh, make it go again. Because the dirt's going in, but nothing's coming out, so... Yeah, that's better. That's what I wanted to hear. And it's absolutely a constant stream of it coming out. You can just see it bouncing everywhere. I really can't be proud of this operation. It's really my first one that's ever run smoothly. And the game is still handling this very well, considering how much gold and stuff is lying around. And I'm sure if I was to sift through this, I would find lots of onyx. But I don't really care about the onyx anymore now that I can get the uh, much more valuable lobster. Well, at least now we've determined that the lobster is in fact the most valuable item in the game. At least as far as I know. Next time we'll try and chase down something even more valuable if it exists. For now, enjoy this massive pile of gold.